what I do on a regular day. Normally I do uh, a personal training in the early in the morning, or I do my cardio, depending on the schedule. And um, I just had my second meal. So now we're going to the chiropractor's office and uh, getting some shockwave therapy and uh, a chiropractor therapy. I've been uh, going to the chiropractor's office, this chiropractor, for nearly two years now. And um, he really, really helps me out. Yeah, and shockwave, I use that, um, like, I sh use shockwave therapy for, um, it's like a massage therapy or or not. It's um, it's a machine that put out impulses, shock waves, and it breaks up scar tissue and damaged tissue in the muscle, and um, it really helps you soften your muscles out. And uh, I don't know the science behind it, but uh, it's a big difference for me to use shock wave rather than a normal massage. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah, it does some great work. Also, if I got some tightening in my chest and stuff like that with the ribs, it helps a lot with joints too and stuff like that. Are you doing it by yourself? Or? No, I have you helping me. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Normally, I do it myself. How I long? Does it normally take to do this kind of um... shockwave? Yeah. The shockwave is about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, depending on the on the intensity and how much pain I go through. Um, it's somewhat painful at sometimes, uh, breaking up the scar tissue and uh, hitting nerves and stuff like that and the bones and it goes really deep and it's really intense. So depending on the intensity, it it varies from 15 to 30 minutes. But does it hurt? Yeah. A lot? It's effective and I can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> Some place uh, more than others? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like the joints. Um, that hurts a lot? Yeah. Yeah, shoulder joints, if I get too close to the to the joint and if uh, the, the shockwave machine is set up to go too deep, then it hurts and burn hour, the whole thing. Maybe 30 minutes, 40 minutes. The dog is walking itself. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> So now we're here. And then if you're hungry, you can go down and eat at Burger King. I can't, because I'm on the diet. Oh, <laughs> normally you can. Normally I don't. I yeah. never eat at Burger King. No, I think you like. So this is the shockwave machine and we're just setting it up, increasing the intensity and shockwave number going to do three uh, three thousand rounds on the first go. So we're going to do the the lateral head of the of the delts, the front delts and the chest on each side. Take this side first. Even though this hurts like a motherfucker, you can actually do this type of treatment every day as long as you just use the superficial treatment. There's this, this other function that goes way deeper and that's actually used for bones and stuff like that. So if you've got a little chip off your shoulder joint that's 
laying around, making making all kinds of havoc and pain. You can actually use that to destroy the little piece of bone. And we actually th did that on my sh on my on my shoulder joint. So it's really really strong. And um, this is more for for the tissue and it open up the tissue, and the muscle tissue and. Uh, and the joints and stuff like that, and it really helps for blood flow and uh, recovery and uh, the damage you put, uh, you you, um, you make on your tissue when you're working out and uh, doing. <laughs> Jamen, god bevægelse, det trænger du til. Det må man sige. Kom lige lidt rundt på ryggen også. Så forebyggende og styrkende behandling, har du oplevet det? Hva? Du har oplevet forebyggende og styrkende behandling? Åh, jo, bestemt. Super. Prøv at lade hovedet komme lige en smule over til siden. Rest. Sådan der. Lidt over igen. Rest. Okay. No pain, no gain. No pain, no motherfucking gain. So that is. So normally I would uh, go work after the chiropractor session, uh, but today my computer is down, so I can't go work. And this is actually my first time going going to get uh, or organic uh, eggs. But I think that it's a great idea, and I and I see this as a little adventure for me myself and. Uh, doing something different, doing something better than I'm used to and I think that everybody should uh, think about what they can do better uh, every day and this is something that I want to change. Um, I eat so much meat that my uh, my uh, my economy wouldn't uh, allow me to go buy organic foods, meats or, uh, for everyday use. And other than that, I have my uh, meal plan set up with a muscle box here in Denmark that uh, provides me delicious foods and really, really good chicken and, um, and ground beef. And they do all my cooking, so either way, it's not 
it's not a, it's not a choice for me at the moment. But uh, the eggs are, so I'm going to choose to buy organic and um, do the chickens a favor, you know, um, one step at a time, bettering myself and bettering the environment that I live in and doing what I can do better. That's it, baby. So uh, we're on our way to Gold Gym again to uh, train legs with a guy called Dennis Jensen. He's actually the national champ here in Denmark in bodybuilding and um, also the Scandinavian champion. He's a fucking machine and he's like 25 years old, something like that. He's very young and his condition is just out of this world. He's, um, and he's just a fucking machine to train with. So normally when we hit legs on a Saturday, we do nearly three hours leg workout. So this is going to be a long one. This ain't like powerlifting. This is nothing to do with strength. This is purely to uh, make the muscles grow to get a fucking insane pump and the, longe the longevity of the sport to um, not get injured, to not get overtrained. And if you do too much weight, too heavy lifting, you uh, just shut your nervous system down. So this is a way of training to prevent that. So you get the maximum effect muscle wise to get the growth going in the muscles that you're working and not, not increasing in strength. That's not our main concern. Our main concern is to grow huge ass fucking muscles. So that's what we're doing today. And that's also the way I work out at the moment. And um, I'm not getting any younger, I'm turning 33 next time. And uh, I can feel in my body when I go too heavy that um, I have to take a couple of days off and um, that's not beneficial for nothing. So at the end of the day, what I want to do with my training is I want to grow and I want to get more symmetrical and I want to get fuller and rounder and bigger, smaller muscle. And um, what my training experience shows me is that um, going too heavy doesn't benefit that. So uh, this really helps me and this guy is all about that. And it's actually fun because this was how I trained. I did this training style four years ago when I got out of jail and I uh, found inspiration in the way Kai Green, he, uh, he's working out with 20 rep sets and 30 rep sets and stuff like that. And um, so this is actually for me going back to where I came from when I started doing bodybuilding. Not started lifting, uh, lifting weights, I worked out 10 years before I found bodybuilding. And now I know what bodybuilding is. Bodybuilding is hypertrophy and increasing muscle mass and um, staying in the sport for a long time and keep working out uh, for the benefit of muscle growth, not, not pure strength. If, you're, if you increase the strength, that's great, but if you don't, that's not the main concern. The main concern is to grow and, um, and evolve. Not strength-wise, but, uh, but 
in muscle mass. And um, so this is perfect for me. And uh, you should try it out yourself if you want to increase muscle mass, try going high reps. It doesn't mean that we do uh, pussy weight. It just means that we're more concerned with the contraction, deep squeeze of the muscle, full stretch, full range of motion. And um, some, some sets we uh, do heavier weights and then we drop down to a drop set to increase uh, and hit the high reps. So we could maybe do an exercise like leg press and do 10 reps, then drop down to a certain weight and do 10 more and then drop down again, do 10 more and drop down again, do 10 more. So that's 40 reps in, in, in total. And then go over and superset with leg extensions, for example, and do the same shit over again. So that's 80, 80 reps on one set. And you do that four times, then you got a shitload of, set, a shitload of reps. I tell you that for sure. And um, so that's the way we do it. And uh, damn. One, uh, one leg session a week and that's enough for me. I'm totally fucked up and my legs are aching for maybe four, five, six days. So it's, yeah, it's really great. And there's not so many, actually we haven't squatted yet, so it's not for the powerlifting guys and you don't, you're not going to see any crazy shit, impressive weights getting, getting thrown around, but I'll tell you that one second. One thing's for sure. We still go ball to the wall on this one, so check it out. Um.